Good morning. I will call to order this regularly scheduled meeting of the Executive Committee for the City of Minneapolis for today, April 6, 2016. I am Mayor Betsy Hodges, Chair of the Committee, joined this morning by uh, Councilmember Cam Gordon, Council Vice President Glidden, and Councilmember Reich. We are a quorum of the Committee and can conduct the City's business. We have precisely four items on our agenda, although one of them will be a potential closed meeting. Um, uh, two of them will be potential closed meeting to discuss collective bargaining agreement. But the first item on the agenda is from the Human Resources Department, the Civil Service Commission appointment. Uh, and I believe that presentation will be made by Ms. Ferguson. Good morning. Mayor Hodges, members of the Executive Committee, the item before you today is the approval of the mayoral reappointment of Alec McVeigh for a three-year term beginning March 1st, 2016 and ending February 28th, 2019 for referral to the Ways and Means Committee for a public hearing. The Civil Service Commission was established and authorized to make, amend, or repeal rules in order to promote sound human resource administrative practices, to promote efficiency in the city service, and to carry out its charter responsibilities. The Civil Service Commission is comprised of three commissioners, each serving a term of three years. Ms. Ellen McVeigh was first appointed to the Civil Service Commission in 1993 and has continued to serve the City of Minneapolis in that role. Her knowledge and experience as an attorney is invaluable to the Civil Service Commission. Any discussion? on that potential appointment. Um, I will just note my appreciation um, uh, for McVay, Ms. McVeigh's service for the work on the Civil Service Commission. It is, it is almost beyond unsung, and, um, uh, but crucial to how we do as a city and, and how we move forward together with our folks. So um, I just want to uh, give thanks for um, the, for the service that's been given and ask my colleagues to consider her reappointment. Any, I, so I will move that item. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in approval, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? That carries. And thank you very thank much. You. Item number two um, is an appointed position, Director of Contract Compliance. Um, I believe that presentation will be Mr. Giles. Thank you, Madam Mayor, members of the Executive Committee. The item before you for the position of Director for Contract Compliance is really actually a small upgrade and a title change to an existing FTE in the Civil Rights Department, which is the Assistant Director for Contract Compliance. It's, what we're looking at is an increase in value for this position uh, from 483 points to 510 points. There was an undervalued or unvalued responsibility when we started looking at this, and the unvalued responsibility that we had was the responsibility to certify agencies for disadvantaged businesses, basically small and minority-owned businesses. When we factor this in, we end up with a change in the decision and action factors, the supervisory factors, because there's an additional FTE that the, uh, the position supervises, and an increase in the relationship re responsibility factor. Uh, the increase takes it from a grade 10 to a grade 11. Uh, the increase in salary is approximately $5,000 at the bottom and the top of the salary schedule. And we're asking that you find that this meets the criteria for an appointed position, that you approve the position director for contract compliance, that you approve the salary schedule, and you forward it to the Ways and Means Committee. Questions? Council President Johnson. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. So, Mr. Giles, is this creating another appointed position? No, ma'am. Okay, this so is the old appointed position of assistant director okay. in the Civil Rights Department. Okay. Other questions? I will move approval of this item. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in approval, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? That does carry. Thank you very much, Thank Mr. You. Giles. 
Um, we will now adjourn to room 315 for a potential closed session regarding two items regarding collective bargaining agreements.